So the oscilloscope helped, helped us to get those first four uh, octaves in the ballpark, okay? Zero volts, one volt, two volt, three volts. And essentially that's uh, 30, 60 hertz, 120 hertz, and then 240 hertz. <clears throat> so here we are sitting at 240 hertz. Now what we want to do though, is we want to start going higher in voltage and uh, obviously higher in frequency as well. And then we're going to start to use the high frequency adjust to help us to bring things in. Now, eventually we'll have to use both of the controls, both of the trimmers, the high frequency adjust and the scale adjust, but uh, mostly the high frequency adjust once we get past this point. So as our first shot at it, what we want to do, since we're going to be going from zero volts to seven volts, is we want to calculate what frequency should we see when we apply seven volts. So we're going to take the 30 hertz and we're going to multiply that by 128 or 2 to the seventh power. We're going to come up with 3840. Okay. So let's go ahead now and apply seven volts. All right, we're actually applying 6.996 volts. As you can see, we are low or flat by about 40 hertz. So now we just go ahead with our trimmer, and this is the high frequency adjust trimmer, and we start to go with that uh, in the opposite direction we went before because now we want it to start to contribute. All right, and you can see it starts going up. There we are at about 3840. Okay. And and uh, again, you may have to play with this. So we'll do a little higher. Somebody's got to invent a little screwdriver that really goes on to these little pots a lot easier than the one I have. Okay. So there we are. It's, it's going to float around that a little bit. Now let's go back down to 30. And you can see that that high frequency adjusts has affected even our lowest frequency a little bit. Okay, So what we want to do now is pull back using the fine control or the fine in the course if you need to back to 30 hertz. I think I tapped the course control. Okay, So there we go. Now we're going to do it again. We're going to go apply 7 volts. There we go. Now, again, we went flat, okay, so <clears throat> we're going to apply a bit more uh, high frequency adjust to get us back up, okay, it's driving me a little crazy, okay, to get us, get that 40 hertz in there. Okay, there we're going, we're going. And we're about right there, a little higher than that. Okay, now we'll go back, down. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now let's see, let's go 30, 60.2, it was really 30.1, and it's, uh, it's fluctuating a little bit. Now remember this counter two, it's triggering on a ramp waveform, and so perhaps Every time it triggers, it may be off by one or two cycles. So this could also contribute to uh, what we're seeing here. There's 120. Should be 240. 480. 960. 1920. And 3840. Now, we have gone a little too high. We can cut back on the high frequency adjust pot. As soon as we get the tool on it. Okay, a little bit. Okay, back down to 30. So, by playing with the high frequency adjust pot and the scale trim, we can get a uh, very accurate uh, oscillation over, as we see here, eight octaves. Okay, 
And again, uh, with this setup, I'm in my, uh, my labs down in my basement. It's the middle of winter here in Colorado, and uh, it's a little chilly here. <laughs> so it isn't the most stable temperature environment, but even at that, uh, you can see we're getting good results. So the hand match transistors, something you want to learn to do. Again, on my website, uh, the Music from Outer Space website, there's a nice article about how to do that, some circuits to build to help you do that. I will be publishing uh, the circuit that is this little voltage stepper so that uh, you can use it when you're calibrating your oscillators. And I'll also be offering circuit boards for that. So I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and I hope it helps you to see some good uh, techniques to uh, get your oscillators calibrated and, uh, and get out there and keep synthesizing. Thanks a lot. Another thing I wanted to share with you while we're talking about calibrating the oscillator is this. It involves the uh, scale adjust trimmer, something that's not very intuitive about uh, adjusting oscillators in general. Let's say that you're feeding in one volt and you have the coarse and fine control set to 100 hertz, okay, for your oscillator. Well, now you step up to 3 volts, what you should see is a quadrupling of the frequency. You've gone from 1 through 2 all the way to 3, and so now you should be looking at 400 hertz, okay? Now, if you're looking a little sharp, if you're like at 405 or 404, what you do with the scale trimmer is you adjust it so that the frequency goes up a little bit, maybe a hertz or two. Then you want to again feed in the one volt, look at your frequency, readjust with the coarse and fine controls, actually just the fine in this point, back to 100 hertz, and again apply three volts and see you will come closer to 400. And so that's the, the non-intuitive thing. When you're sharp at a higher voltage, you want to adjust scale trim to go a little sharper, then go back to your starting uh, voltage, adjust the frequency, and try again. If you're flat at the higher voltage, you want to adjust the scale trimmer to go a couple of hertz flatter. Go back to your original voltage, look at the frequency, readjust with the fine control back to 100 hertz again, and then apply that higher voltage, 3 volts, and you'll notice you've gone up on that higher end. Okay, So when you're sharp, you go a little sharper. When you're flat, go a little flatter. And that will help you as you're iterating and going back and forth trying to get the, uh, the most uh, tune out of your oscillator.